there and welcome to Snook Pro Tips. I was asked uh, this uh, exercise uh, quite some time ago. I, again, I have done uh, a clip on this, but I didn't think it was very good. So uh, I totally scrapped it. I've been a little bit busy since then. Uh, so now I've, I've managed to get around to it regarding cannons. And all I've got now is uh, two reds in line with the black. One sort of in the middle there, the black and the pink and the rest of the colours on the spot. So I'm not going to clear them up, I'm, I'm just going to try and explain the cannons as best I can. Uh, now cannons play a very important part in the game and the mistake a lot of people make is that they sort of get the cannon but miss the pot. Now what you must remember is the most important thing when sort of playing the game is to pot the ball you're going for. So potting the ball on basically. So in this case now it's the red. Uh, the important thing with getting cannons is actually having the correct angle to actually do what you're trying to do. If you can't, then the cannon just isn't on. Uh, you'll more likely get the cannon and miss the pot by a mile. Uh, and, somewhere, and the normal case of events is around the clubs, you'll, say, you'll hear people say, well, I've got position, uh, but I've missed the pot. Basically, if you pot the ball, you won't, you won't make the position. It's as simple as that. Uh, so I'll just go through it nice and simple for you. So I've got this, the red now to the corner, which is nice and straight. And the idea is actually is to pop the red to the corner, stop the white dead, so we've got a nice off ball angle on the black, and then play the cannon into the top red. So you can see there, I've stopped the white ball nicely in line. And now to try and pop the black into the corner, just a nice gentle screw shot into this red, so I actually hold for this red. Now, uh, if you've seen uh, another clip which I've done uh, on YouTube called Shot Visualization, that's exactly what I've done there. So if you watch that clip, it'll sort of marry into this one a little bit. So what I'm actually doing now is visualizing the black going into there. I've decided which shot I'm going to play, which is a soft screw shot into this red. So once I've done that, the only thing now I have to sort of worry about is actually potting the black. So now I can focus everything on potting the black, making sure I'm only looking at the black and not looking at the cannon. So you can see there now I've potted the black to the corner and got the cannon. At no time when I potted the black there did my eyes look at the red which I was cannoning. I was always focused on the black and that's the most important part because the danger is you're, you're sort of looking at the black, now as you're playing the shot, your eyes now come off the black and look at the cannon. This is where a lot of players go wrong, then they miss the black, get the cannon, and that's where it all goes wrong. So as you can see now, I'm nicely on this red. It's a nice solid stun shot. And then back up for the black. Now if I want to, again here now, I can play a cannon, which I'm going to, just for the sake of the of the clip, uh, and this time what I'm going to try and do is just come up and either can the red or just clip the pink which will leave me on the red again. So if I can just get in here, the camera's just slightly in the way. So this one there is a stun shot. And you can see there again, I've now played the cannon again. Not quite sure where the red goes to the centre, but it definitely goes to the far corner there. And you can see there again, kept my eye on the black. The red doesn't go to the centre, so it'll have to go to the far corner. Uh, I'm not going to play it because I'm more likely to miss it. And what I don't want to do now is make a mess of the clip. So that's basic cannons. I know what you're thinking, I should take it on, so I will. If I don't get it, I don't get it. No, nowhere near. I didn't think I'd pot it. Back to that. Anyway. So now the other type of cannon which you'll have is maybe a red behind the black spot area. So we're in there. So now you want to pot the black and maybe just chip it off. Again, you must have the right angle. That's always the important thing with cannons. So now I've got this one here roughly about three quarter ball. Just a nice stun shot to pot the black and just chip this side of the red just so it just flicks it off the cushion nicely. like that. So now I've actually developed the red, so now I'll just have a nice pot across the cushion. 
and again, get myself on the black. So that's another cannon which I've played there. And you can see that I've done nothing with it. I haven't put any side on or anything like that. So now I would have a nice shot at this red. Again, just over it slightly to get onto the black. But I think you've got the point of that. And the all important thing with cannons is to have the correct position to do it. And once you want, if you think you're in that position to do it, try and visualize the shot how it actually works and then play it. But the most important thing is that you concentrate on the ball that you're actually playing. And, and that is cannons basically. Don't concentrate on the cannon, always concentrate on the pot. Another favorite one which we have with cannons is maybe like say a run through cannon where we've got a red which is somewhere there. And we just want to nudge off the red and say get on the black. It's hitting the red say pretty full so the white is actually going to stop. So the important thing is to pop the red top of the ball. Now, just hit it just a fraction harder than you normally would because what's going to happen is this red now is going to absorb some of the energy out of the white obviously because it's hitting it and you need just that little bit extra just so as the white just kicks through and then leaves you nice on the black instead of being stuck here so again I know it's going to hit the red but I'll make sure I concentrate on potting the red that I'm going for just a little bit of top to help it through and although I've missed the red I've committed the cardinal so I'm more concerned about the run through of the cannon. You can see there that's how easy it is. So I'll play it again. Just so we try and get it right. So here we go. This time making sure I get it right. So we just need to kick through off the red just that little bit. You can see this time I've potted it. Just move the red, move the white now while the black nicely. And if it is, you've done your stun routine, where you practice the stun shot. There's the black, there's the red. So hopefully pot the black and just stun it behind the back of the red to continue the break which you were on. You see there, just put the, put the black in the corner and just put the white behind the red nicely. And that's basically cannons. Now, uh, there is no sort of set routine to sort of practicing cannons. Uh, there are loads of clips on YouTube with billiards and stuff like that where they play cannons all the time. Uh, it can be sort of taken to uh, the snooker context, but again, it comes from experience playing cannons and just seeing things over and over again. And again, if it is you watch any of the professional games, just watch how they go about doing the cannons. You can learn a lot just by watching the TV. Uh, and that's it, basically. So uh, it's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, uh, please uh, put, put them on there. And if you want to send any personal messages, uh, any requests for clips, uh, if I haven't already done them, uh, please do. Uh, if you have any match situations you wish to let me know about and you, you wish to have an opinion, again, please let me know. It's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you.